Nadia just launched our trimaran for the first time since we bought her four and a half years ago. It was emotional and a relief, and in the end, the never-ending project somehow got to an end anyhow, even though it many times felt like the end was close, but not close enough. And we have to say, we're pretty proud of the transformation we have done with the boat. Or, what do you think? In the last episode, we found out that we had lost a propeller blade. Good morning, guys. It's, I don't know, what is it, like 8 o'clock? Um, I think it's 7. Enough to 7. 7, alright. I can't say it was a very successful night sailing-wise. We we had speed, but um, we also had current, and the wind was in the wrong direction. But we ended up at about the same distance to uh, Chiapas as when we started last night. So, but um, uh, the wind picked up maybe um, one and a half hour ago some um, miles a little bit further west just to, uh, to be able to point better uh, towards Chiapas so um, right now we're doing about eight knots uh, speed through water and we're not totally pointing towards Chiapas right now but um, it's pretty good uh, good wind so far uh, we just if we're lucky, we're getting there today. Otherwise, we need to come up with a plan B. So right now, I have a true wind, about nine, eight knots. So we're doing about, um, we're sailing at about that wind speed. And that's not too bad. We're pretty happy with that. Um, right now, we're having a, a full mainsail. So we can just hope for the best, hope that the wind uh, keeps kicking us. I have some doubts. Yes, cruising slowly. Hard working man. Ugh. It's no fun being in the engine room. It's very hot. <laughs> well, so good with all that water surrounding us then. It's just another uh, sunset. We're having about 24 miles to go to Chiapas and it's uh, we're still doing some speed uh, around 6 knots but um, around this time it's pretty common that uh, uh, the, the wind will uh, die out uh, eventually uh, and uh, it seems like we will not try to approach the marina now uh, in the night um, there's a big um, dredge boat <coughs> in the channel into the marina as well it's very narrow passage so uh, what else yeah so today has been a day where we we're doing a little bit of boat work um, had some issues with the boom with the out hole and uh, with some chafing there so we fixed that uh, at least briefly um, right now it seems to be working pretty good uh, otherwise uh, it was the engine uh, uh, what else was it? Um, I was it with the engine today. We had to charge our batteries with the engine. Oh yeah, yeah. I discovered that the batteries were pretty low on voltage. Uh, lower than expected. And then I went down and had a look and it was a lot of black dust in the engine room. Yeah, we think that came from the, the fan belt. That it was very worn or it had been slip, been slippering a lot. Uh, so we replaced that with a new one and um, the oil leak we still don't know where we know where it comes from but we don't know why so we need to look into that. <laughs> getting closer to Chiapas. We're just outside the, the port and uh, we have more or less been uh, drifting along a little bit with a very very small napkin of sail. 
and just to time it now when the sun uh, when the sun uh, comes up. Uh, of course, it's always a lot of fishing boats when you're getting closer to shore. So that meant, of course, we <laughs> we caught a net a couple of hours ago. I think it was. It took us maybe 10-15 minutes to get it get it up. Uh, I wasn't that keen on jumping into the water so we managed to solve it um, without jumping in and, and the fishing boat um, it had helped too so in the end it was all good and uh, just hopefully nothing is still um, down there we're trying to sail as far in as possible now so we when we don't want to use the, the engine now and we know it's not 100 percent of course we're going to use it but just use it very little and um, not to rev it very much just on um, idling i would say i would say Time to do paperwork. Exciting. Yeah, I mean now it's the time. Uh, we got here, I don't know, like two hours ago, and uh, they just been here and tried to check us in. It was a little bit of a problem, but he was asking for the old papers all the time, and that was the same guy who was checking us out. And he wanted me to sign it, but I didn't want to sign it because that was on the previous owner, and that was his name on it. Yeah, so but. Uh, then I said I didn't understand and so a little bit problem in the beginning and but now I feel pretty comfortable now now we're heading to like the immigration we're heading to the port captain and we need to get a new um, uh, TIP as well so there'll probably be a full day of uh, running around all the papers it's all ours damn yeah it is Big <laughs> awesome yeah Great. oh it feels so good we all checked in now and uh, yeah it's a big relief <laughs> Almost as big relief as when you know when we splashed, it was just uh, felt like amazing. Uh, but you know, back to the problems. Yeah, we lost a propeller blade. There's nothing uh, that I have uh, that I was expecting to do. Uh, so now I'm probably gonna be here for another week or 10 days or so. Uh, I need to send a Kiwi prop and an email and ask them why we lost a prop and uh, then I need to put an order in as, as soon as possible. And yeah, it costs us money to sit here in the marina. We usually just on anchor. We're not so used to uh, sitting in marinas waiting. We haven't uh, a budget for that uh, really, so yeah. But yeah, uh, right now I need to send a message to um, uh, Kiwi Prop and see, uh, see what they are saying. So. To celebrate the launch of the boat, we decided to host a party. We invited the marina staff, local friends and other sailors. But our timing could have been better, cause seven boats left the marina this week. To make a good party, we decided to cook some really good vegetarian food. A couple of pots of chili con soya, a soya ceviche and a big batch of guacamole. And of course someone had to squeeze all the lime for the margaritas, sore fingers after reaching two liters. We're pretty busy serving people drinks, and of course drinking some ourselves. So there wasn't much footage to play with. Uh, today is Monday on Wednesday it should be three weeks since we got back from our small trip we did towards Honduras where we never even got to see Honduras you know yeah we turned back because of the propeller blade you know uh, but I can tell you that we've been busy 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 not that we've been working our ass off but we're having projects every day and uh, we've been enjoying life a little bit more than usual like we did up in the, um, on the boatyard we've been visiting uh, local friends and uh, we had the big party. Some years ago the marina had a sailing school with Optimista lasers, but now it's all paused. We got to know Priscilla and Juan who were participating in this sailing school. So when we heard about Gerald not gonna be able to return to his Shark 24 here in Chiapas, we gave them a notice about it and they arranged to take over the boat. Now it has its own trailer and is sitting at their house being refurbished. We got invited to spend the weekend at Priscilla and Juanu's coffee plantation in Guanajuato. So, we took off to the mountains with the family and some adorable puppies. The plantation is located in a pretty wild environment and it feels like being out in nowhere. The 
plantation is located in a pretty wild environment and it feels like being out in nowhere. We often get into the sad topic about the rust plague that hit more or less all coffee plantations growing Arabica coffee beans. It started about 10 years ago and the crop was totally destroyed. When the plague got here, it stayed. Juan decided to replace a bigger portion of the 400 hectare of Arabica plants to Robusta, which isn't as much affected by the rust, but it's a 4-5 to five year project from planting it till it starts producing. In the golden days, there were more than 1500 pickers at this plantation. What's pretty cool here is that most electricity is produced from their own hydropower plant with a capacity of 230 kilowatts. The water is led through pipes from higher altitude and runs downhill to the plant. So today is Wednesday and that also means it's exactly four weeks since we got back. I got the propeller blade maybe uh, two weeks ago. Uh, so when I got in here after that trip I probably just thought I would be here for another week or ten days or so. But now it's like four weeks and we've been uh, doing great progress with all other small things. More solar panels, new arch and, 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 and so on. And uh, yeah, I mean here is the blade. And I think it's time now to go down and install it. Yeah, I think I'm ready for a swim. I'm so efficient. I've got... Already? Yeah. I got two things done. I changed the propeller blade. And I also opened a new uh, business. I'm an uh, oyster farmer. <laughs> oyster farmer? Yeah. Because there was like 10 pounds of oysters or barnacles. Yeah, today we went out just for a small spin, uh, mostly to test our anchor system. We haven't really been testing it more than on, on the yard actually, just drop it, uh, dropping the anchor on the ground. And uh, there it's been fine, but we need to see how it is in uh, its uh, real environment. Um, it's not a lot of good anchorages here. So you'll see, where do we have it? Yeah, we're just behind uh, a big um, a container ship with bananas. And of course another big um, reason that we went out was of course to test the, the propeller. Uh, yesterday, you remember I, um, I put the new blade on, on our Kiwi prop. It's a feathering prop, so it's, uh, it got, lo it got uh, loose blades to so just uh, having a small locking pin that uh, and uh, that locks the blade, and that one was failed when we um, went out uh, towards Honduras. And um, uh, yeah, we're having less vibration. Best still, we're having some vibrations, but I think that's just uh, of a different reason. So um, a lot less than uh, how it was when uh, we just were running with uh, two blades. But yeah, I think we're pretty done here now. We just went out for uh, an hour or so, so it's time to head back to the marina. But of course, there's always something unexpected happening. The engine died. 